Seventh event, class three here for race set number seven. And uh, once more, we're over the 1650. Field is headed by Arthur's Kingdom, who drops into this class for the first time. For me, Choi and Blake Shin, gift of lifeline. I'll start course and distance winner beating Smoothie, who lines up once more. Sankon Sank, a two-time course and distance winner, but it hasn't won so far this campaign. Kaying, excellent runner-up course and distance to Telecom Fighters last time out. Smoothies with a, a six-pound turnaround with uh, gift of lifeline for that beating. That was two starts back for Smoothies now. He's runner-up again since then bright kid won two starts back and everyone's delight comes to happy valley for the first time he won over the 1400 meters at Chartin. two starts back as well who are the key runners here mark no oh, world famous goes forward again andrew just doesn't tend to run it out when he does. Anyway, he's going to lead Kaying Excellent, who followed Telecom Fighters last time and ran him to a head. Everyone's delight wide smoothies. He's versatile. He can be ridden forward or back. He's up on the outer around Tasha Delek Sankonsank. Bright kid. He gets back and charges home. Arthur's Kingdom and a champion pal. All right, we've got a couple of replays to have a look at here. Starting off with Gift of Lifeline, Paul, beating Smoothies. They uh, go head to head once more with a small turnaround of the weights. Yeah, look, I've got them both in. I thought Gift of Lifeline got the perfect run through on the inside, but he's got a good turn of foot when he gets into the clear Gift of Lifeline. And he has drawn barrier number one, so uh, he's in. And I thought Smoothies, look, he's not far away from a win either as he's uh, run second in his last few, but uh, both these horses are given chances, I think. At Smoothies to beat Gift of Lifeline, but you more you watch that replay with him drawn barrier number one, the more respect for Gift of Lifeline. Mm, whether he can put uh, two together, I suppose. Kying Excellent got pretty close as well last time, uh, Mark. He's ahead away off uh, Telecom Fighters. He did. He was a horse that had the perfect trip from barrier number four this night. He's drawn out in barrier number 11. Just his second go over the 1650. He hits the lead and then Telecom Fighters comes again. CP Brave laid at them. Just from barrier number 11, even allowing for the fact Joe is on Paul. Hit the lead there and was hit it again. Yeah, look, they will clear those three, but from barrier 11, I've left them out. All right, one more to have a look at, Paul Smoothies. So after he ran second there to Gift of Lifeline, this is uh, his next start. He's run second again, this time to Sunny Star. Yeah, he's a bit of second-itis here about Smoothies. When he did win his race at... Uh, he's only won the one, and when he did win it at Chartin, he led all the way. Look, I'll be interested to see what tactics they do do with him here. This was uh, Zach's ride on him. Uh, he's riding him once again on uh, Wednesday night. Look, I've got him in, but I've got him in for second. Got him in for second as well, Smoothies, because he just keeps running second. He's a gift. Um, but he is, Paul, our favourite at this stage. <laughs> yeah, look, he, uh, he probably deserves to be. And uh, look, a win wouldn't, you wouldn't regard him a win as well, the way he's been running. But I'm going to go with a horse coming here for the first time. Everyone's delight. We saw on the speed map, uh, there was a spot outside the leader. And I think he has got a bit of gate speed, this horse. Has won from a wide draw uh, in the past. So if you can get across outside the leader, uh, he should be a decent price. He's currently at 17 and 5. So he's on top, but uh, Smoothies. Uh, in there for second. Sank on Sank doesn't win out of turn, gets back, runs on, and gift of lifeline. Good run from him last time. 12, 9, 4, and 2. Going to make Sank on Sank the each way play here, back to the 1650 metres. A weight allowance for Matthew Poon, drawn barrier 8. His last two have been over 1800. His last couple over the 1650 was four and a half behind Green Luck and a length and a half behind Savaquin four starts ago. On that, he's on top. Nine smoothies to run second. Two gift of lifeline dominant last time and everyone's delight. Uh, he's a good bunny early, around 16 to one. Four, nine, two and 12 for race number seven. I'm going each way as well. Arthur's Kingdom taking the class drop for me, Choi and Blake Shin. I think he's definitely worth uh, capable of better. Big place money, though, for Tasha Delic. Money back at this stage. He's 10 to 1 to win the race. Uh, that's Douglas White and Jerry Chow. That's the seventh, Class 3, over the 1650.